Welcome to Astronomy Daily, your source for the latest space and astronomy news. I'm your host, Anna, and today we'll be covering a range of exciting topics from SpaceX's clash with the FAA to new discoveries in galaxy clusters. Plus, I have a couple of stories on how you can help contribute to science projects in progress. Get ready for a cosmic journey through the headlines that are shaping our understanding of the universe. First up. In a bold move, SpaceX is vehemently rejecting the Federal Aviation Administration's recent allegations of launch requirement violations. The FAA has slapped the company with a hefty $633,000 fine, but SpaceX isn't taking this lying down. The space giant argues that the FAA is falling behind the rapidly evolving commercial spaceflight industry. They claim the agency is struggling to keep up with the pace of innovation and is misallocating its limited resources. SpaceX's Vice President for Legal Affairs, David Harris, sent a strongly worded letter to congressional committees overseeing the FAA. In it, he asserted that the company forcefully rejects the FAA's assertion that it violated any regulations. This clash highlights the growing tensions between traditional regulatory bodies and the new wave of private space companies pushing the boundaries of exploration. As the commercial space race heats up, it seems the rulebook might need some updating to match the speed of progress. Next up, NASA has taken eclipse mapping to a whole new level with their latest development. They've created a process that generates incredibly accurate eclipse maps by incorporating lunar topography data from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. This is a game changer for both astronomers and eclipse enthusiasts. Traditionally, eclipse calculations assumed a smooth, symmetrical moon and didn't account for Earth's varying elevations. But now, NASA's new method factors in the moon's actual cratered and uneven surface, as well as the true altitude of locations on Earth. The result? We can now see the real, time-varying shape of the moon's shadow as it passes over our planet. It turns out the shadow isn't a smooth oval as previously thought. It's more like a potato. This irregularity is caused by the mountains and valleys along the edge of the moon's disk, which can affect the timing and duration of totality by several seconds. This level of detail is unprecedented and provides valuable information for scientific studies and eclipse predictions. It's a testament to how far our understanding and technology have come, allowing us to map these celestial events with extraordinary precision. Now, on to an exciting discovery. In a cosmic dance of hot gas and galaxies, NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory has made a fascinating discovery in the Zwicky 8,338 galaxy cluster. Located about 670 million light years from Earth, this cluster is home to an extraordinary phenomenon, two streams of superheated gas crossing each other. This celestial spectacle involves a comet-like tail of hot gas trailing behind a galaxy spanning an impressive 1.6 million light years. As the galaxy plows through the cluster, it's leaving behind this enormous tail, which has split into two distinct streams. What makes this discovery particularly intriguing is that it's not the only set of tails in the cluster. Astronomers had previously observed a shorter pair of tails from a different galaxy nearby, the crossing of these gas streams is providing valuable insights into how cosmic collisions can shape the structure of galaxy clusters and potentially trigger the formation of new stars. This chaotic landscape of galaxies, superheated gas, and shock waves is a result of two galaxy clusters colliding to create Zwicky 8338. It's a cosmic laboratory that's helping astronomers understand the complex dynamics at play in these massive celestial structures. Now here's something you can help out with if you wish. In an effort to combat the growing issue of light pollution, researchers have developed an innovative and cost-effective solution. They've created an inexpensive sensor designed to track light pollution on a global scale. This project isn't just about scientific data collection. It's a call to action for citizen scientists worldwide. The sensors, which can be built using readily available components for under $65, are capable of measuring night sky brightness caused by artificial light. By encouraging people around the world to construct and install these devices, the researchers hope to create a comprehensive, real-time map of light pollution. This grassroots approach serves a dual purpose. Not only will it provide valuable data for scientists, but it also aims to raise public awareness about the detrimental effects of light pollution. From disrupting ecosystems and wildlife behavior to interfering with astronomical observations, the impact of excessive artificial light is far-reaching. By participating in this project, Citizen scientists can contribute to our understanding of light pollution spread and help inform strategies to mitigate its effects. It's a powerful example of how technology and community engagement can come together to address a global environmental challenge. 
I'll include links in the show notes so you can find out more about the project and instructions on how to build your own sensor if you'd like to give it a go. Now let's talk about one of the most exciting astronomical hunts of the past decade, the search for Arakoth. After New Horizons' successful flyby of Pluto in 2015, scientists were eager to extend the mission. But they faced a major challenge, finding a suitable target in the vast, unexplored Kuiper Belt. For nearly 10 years, astronomers scoured the outer solar system, developing new tools and techniques along the way. They used ground-based telescopes, citizen science efforts, and even the Hubble Space Telescope in their quest. Finally, in 2014, they struck gold with the discovery of Arakoth. This small, oddly shaped world became New Horizons' second flyby target, visited on New Year's Day 2019. The hunt for Arakoth not only gave us unprecedented views of a distant Kuiper Belt object, but also revolutionized our methods for studying this frontier region of our solar system. It's a testament to human perseverance and ingenuity in the face of cosmic mysteries. Next, another project you can help with. In an exciting development for exoplanet research, amateur astronomers and citizen scientists have made significant contributions to our understanding of distant worlds. Their efforts have helped refine the orbital parameters of an exoplanet known as WASP-77AB. This collaborative project led by researcher Federico R. Noger from Arizona State University, along with teams from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and Goddard Space Flight Center, has produced the most precise physical and orbital parameters to date for WASP-77AB. The study combined data from various citizen science projects, including Exoplanet Watch and ExoClock, as well as professional observations from space telescopes like Spitzer, Hubble, and James Webb. WASP-77AB is a gas giant exoplanet, slightly larger than Jupiter, but orbiting incredibly close to its star. These refined parameters will help astronomers better predict future transit events, crucial for planning spacecraft observations and improving atmospheric models. This success story highlights the power of citizen science in advancing our knowledge of the cosmos. It shows that anyone with a passion for astronomy can contribute meaningfully to cutting edge research, bridging the gap between amateur enthusiasts and professional scientists. Want a piece of the action? Join the Exoplanet Watch Project and help contribute to cutting edge exoplanet science. Anyone can participate. Participation does not require citizenship in any particular country. And that wraps up today's episode of Astronomy Daily. I'm Anna, and it's been my pleasure to bring you the latest in space and astronomy news. Before we sign off, I want to remind you to check out our website at astronomydaily.io. There, you can sign up for our free daily newsletter, catch up on all the latest space and astronomy news with our constantly updating news feed, and listen to all our back episodes. Don't forget to follow us on social media too. Just search for Astro Daily Pod on Facebook, X, YouTube, and TikTok to stay connected with us between episodes. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Keep your eyes on the stars and we'll see you next time on Astronomy Daily. Astronomy.